What's up guys? All right, we're gonna go ahead and put some car seats in the cars and get them going. We're gonna get things ready for uh, little baby Caden when he gets here. So I gotta take this stuff out. Doesn't look like much, but it's gonna be in the Ford. I already got one in the Toyota. So yeah, it's gonna be good times. <laughs> So change of plans. The car seat's going in her car. It should be going in mine though. Hey honey. Yes. Why can't it go in the Ford? Because it's mine. I want it. But it's the manliest one. I said before, Fords are manlier than Toyotas. There's nothing I can do to change your mind? No. Alright, so I guess I gotta switch them out. I gotta put, uh, I have to put her car seat that was in the RAV into the Ford and this one into the RAV. That sucks. I like this car seat more. Oh well. Gotta do what the wife wants, right? Happy wife, happy life. So here we go. I'm gonna show you the car seat that I gotta take out of her RAV and put into the Ford. Alright, see, so look. This one right here is the one I want in my Ford. It's gray and black, and it just has that... Well, it matches the Ford. It's black. You know, that sounded so gay. It's black, though. Look at that. All right. This is what's going to go into the Toyota now, apparently. And I am stuck with this one. This is going to go on the Ford. I don't want that in the Ford. It's got green. Lime green. It fits the RAV so much better. The femininity factor is a little bit higher with that one. But what can you do, right? I gotta do what the wife wants. Ow. Hot. Hot glass. So, we're gonna go ahead and take this one out, and we're gonna put that one in the Ford. Or, I wish. In the Toyota. Let's do it. <laughs> should be in the RAV, or uh, now I'm saying it, it should be in the Ford, but oh well. We get to put this one in the Ford. Exciting. I get to have a lime green car seat in my manly Ford. Well, at least it's not going in the Jeep. That's, that's good at least. All right, now we got to get that done, shall we? Let's do it. All right, it doesn't look as bad as I expected it to in here. I just realized something. How crazy is it that I'm actually afraid? I'm worried about how it's going to look in my Ford. I feel like I should have some man points taken off of me for that one. But it's not too bad. It works anyway, I guess, right? That's all that matters. The wife is going to be driving the Toyota more, so she wanted the other one in the Toyota. So who am I to argue? Close that DVD. All right, man. Well, we got the car seats installed. They are ready to go. We're getting close. We're getting really, really close. We got like five weeks, four and a half weeks until her due date. And then little old Caden's gonna be here. I'm looking forward, I cannot wait. Can't wait to see his personality. What was that? Is there I just sound like there's water in there. Well, that's a little odd. Listen to this. I close my door. I don't hear it that time. I feel like there's water sloshing around down there somewhere. Hmm. Oh well. No. A little bit later, we're gonna go to my dad's. I'm gonna put the top down on the Jeep and uh, just uh, it's about an hour drive over there so I'll have a good time to enjoy the top off weather we're having today so 
I'm sure I won't videotape anything at my dad's. Probably show the house. You're interrupting. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, we're going to my dad's today. Um, he is moving out of his log cabin that he has owned for, uh, well, he's lived there since I was in the second grade. He and my stepmom. It was built on my stepmom's land, uh, which he married into. And uh, a lot of childhood memories over there, you know. But uh, my stepmom passed away about a year and a half ago. And, uh, you know, it's a home that he and, he and my stepmom built, literally. So he's out, he's way out in the middle of nowhere in that, in that, in that house. And he knows it's better for his uh, health, his mental health, as he gets older. Uh, if he moved closer to people, so he's buying a he bought a house up near my sister, which is about four hours away, well three and a half hours away from here. Um, and uh, so he's moving stuff up there. He's he'll be moving, he'll be he'll he'll be leaving the cabin Tuesday. So I want to go over there and see that place one more time. It's kind of a sad day. Like I said, a lot of mem a lot of memories over there. <clears throat> a lot of good times, so uh, you know, kind of does kind of hard not to get choked up when I think about it. But it's for his best interest, and I completely understand. But yeah, there's been a lot of good times over there. I remember, I remember as a kid chopping wood over there with my dad. We would go to uh, we'd go to the back field to the woods, and we would. Bring a couple chainsaws and go back there and cut some wood up because he he heated primarily in the winter time with a wood stove so the wood was his uh primary source of heat um and we'd go back and you know do a whole bunch of get, get a whole bunch of wood cut up and bring it back up to the cabin and chop it with the log splitter you know just a lot of just a lot of good memories over there going camping back there in the woods Yeah, it's gonna it sucks, but it's a lot of good memories, man. Life goes on though, right? And he'll be much healthier and happier. He's moving actually up by my sister, so he'll be much healthier up there. Much happier. But uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get dressed, and uh, well, that implies that I'm out here naked. Um, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go inside and get uh, better dressed and uh, put the top down on the Jeep and uh, drive to my dad's house and see the place one last time and help him load some boxes into the moving truck. It might be uh, you know my dad's my dad gets pretty emotional about this. Um, so ever since he lost my stepmom, his wife, for obvious reasons. So I might get a little emotional there. But uh, I'll jump back on here in a little bit, guys. All right, let's see how long it takes to put the top down. Good time, good time today. It should be a nice day to do. To drive to my dad's with the top off. And of course, I I like to put a bungee strap right here. 
because I've had times before where you know you're driving down the road and wind will catch under the top and lift it up and it just becomes a mess but that's how that's how you do it 1995 YJ the new Wranglers even 97s and newer are a lot easier to put down there's not quite as many steps in my opinion from what I from, I had an 06 I had an 06 and that top went down a lot faster and a lot easier um, but this is why I don't put the top down very often anymore because I just don't have the time. I'll have to put this top back up uh, tonight or tomorrow morning before I go to work. So I'm going to take the last door off and drive to my dad's. Uh, well, I'll see you later. About to his house, just about there. Well, guys <clears throat> that was uh you know my that, that was the house that uh i went to every other weekend to see my dad and my stepmom <clears throat> and uh i'll miss it i'll miss going over there haven't gone over there enough lately i've been so busy but i'm gonna miss that place i'm gonna miss going back to the creek playing in the creek when i was a kid going back there in the jeep you know whatever going camping back there I'm gonna miss it all 
but my dad's gonna be happier where he's moving to, so that's what's important. So anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching this. I hope y'all have a good day. I hope y'all stay safe out there, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.